The squad making sure we all win. Smoke a lot, radio, we going all in. Silla, I'm the host with the most smoke. Rolling up the most dope. Kato got the most dope. Simone Taylor, keep it sexy for the grown folks. I'm OG, tone low, bouncing on them ghost folks. Smoke, we the number one podcast. Some other shows, all trash. Amber Rose, all ass. Broadcasting live from the coast. Sick of Mitty with the jokes. Come and get your ass broke. I was yeah. watching some DVD. Hold on, hold on. Let's stick on the box. No, it was on the oh, box. This is not the <laughs> box. It's about the Floyd situation. And something yeah. didn't go right. And I know that somebody said somebody made a phone call and said that you was on the phone. Uh, no, he went up. Wasn't on the phone. You made the call. No, somebody made, made a, call a call and had to drop a bag. And they said, I don't know whatever you got going on. Somebody had to drop a bag, man. <laughs> we need to make this situation what's the, what's right. What's the promoter name that, 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 that's a partner with Golden Boy? I don't know. That's yeah, why I was trying to ask partner you. Partner Golden Boy did. Yeah, yeah. what, what happened with that situation? Well, you you know, that's a, a Bob Arum, I think, told that story. Bob Arum, yes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. Yeah. So that's why I, I was yeah. sitting there like, Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy named Jay Prince <laughs> had to come drop five hundred thousand dollars to Floyd, or it's gonna be bad news. <laughs> you know, that was just a misunderstanding that uh, that we was able to, to straighten out. You know what I mean? He and I are cool today. That's that's the, that's my little brother. But uh, that was a misunderstanding in the air with with some of his crew, and you know, sometimes. Uh, a misunderstanding can take place with with members that may work for two different individuals and, and they have to get shit straight. So that's what that was about. Okay, for sure. Boy. Man, um call washes. Hold on, man. Speaking of fighting, man, and Tyson, man. When the motherfucking Tyson and Roy Jones fight just happened, right? Everybody was like, Young I predicted it. Young I predicted it. I'm like, no, nigga. Jay was setting up that fight back then. It just never went yeah. through, but I already said it in my fucking rap. <laughs> so now it happens. Everybody like, yeah. Yeah, 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 I am not no fucking no. It was happening. Nah, Jay was lining up that fight. Was, the Raiders shit, though. Yeah, that was cool, but this is real. <laughs> yeah, 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 the Raiders shit. yeah, he was setting up the fight. So uh, explain uh, the first time you were setting up the uh, the Roy Jones and Tyson fight and why it didn't fall through. Yeah, yeah, I flew, I flew Roy and Mike Tyson. We all met out in in Houston at my ranch, and uh, okay, we had Big a conversation. Boy, ranch. Yeah, we had a conversation about that fight, you know, years ago, over a decade ago, and we we actually set it up to take fruition. And um, the dude, what is the people out there in the Bay Area that own? Uh, Sacramento Kings and the Maloots. The Maloots. The Maloots. Yeah. Yeah. So we went That's and I had a we, we went and had a conversation <laughs> with the Maloot brothers who we was trying to get to guarantee, you know, the paper. And they didn't want to guarantee the amount that Roy wanted at the time. And at the time, this dude Tarver was like really popping off a bunch of shit. And, um, you know, long story short, Roy decided to uh, say he was going to deal with Tarver first and then we'll deal with that other thing and that didn't go as planned. Yeah, because Tarver and the... Yeah, Tarver had the belt, right? Yeah. And you said you well, brought him out to the race. Can we just clear this up? Because look, he stayed on 200 acres. 50,000 acres. No, the ranch, two a foot thousand by. acres. I just, yeah. I just, it's a thousand acres? A thousand plus. Thousand plus now. See, now Rick Wall shit is three hundred, so that's like four Rick Wall's joints. I understand. I'm Good just wanting to clear it up right here because niggas be mad. It's two football fields, nigga. So I'm like, no, nigga, twenty football fields. Right. Yeah. Good luck. Right. Good luck. Yeah. Fifty football fields. Them to say it right here, so they know. Bro, you can't walk around that motherfucker to get to the main <laughs> house. You got to take a trip. It's miles, <laughs> my nigga. It's miles from the yeah. entrance of the ranch to get to that crib, nigga. It's miles. You better have a, a yeah. horse, nigga, or something. <laughs> a skateboard, nigga. You better not be walking. Hell no, nah, man. So, Andre Ward. 
How'd you yeah. come across Andre Ward, man? That's that's a, another town great, you know what I mean, legend that we love, man. How you hook up with the Ward guy, man? You know, that that begun with uh Virgil Hunter, man. Virgil. You know, Virgil, yeah, he he reached out to me. Is that, Keisha, is yeah. that really Keisha Cole Daddy? From what I understand. You okay, know what I mean? shout out Virgil, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh he reached out and told me, you know, uh, years ago, man, he said, if you help me. You know, with 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 this boy, he'll win us a gold medal. He said, right now, you know, he got one feet, you know, in the street and one feet in the boxing ring. He said, but if you help me save him, he'll win a gold medal. And I flew Dre down to uh, to Houston and watched him whoop several people, heavyweights. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I became a believer immediately. And, uh, you know, I, I put things together, man, where he was able to, go and see Roy Jones, who went to Roy Jones' camp immediately, and he beat up every sparring partner in Roy Jones' camp. And, uh, you know, I left there, I believe him, man, and we left there with a plan, and he honored, you know what I mean, everything he said he was would do, and I'd done the same thing. And he went to Greece and won that gold medal, man, two years later. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. So... You get them into professional boxing. Now, explain this journey. Well, profess professional, you know, of course, you have to uh, go through the amateur program. It's almost just like college or Ooh. something after high school. You know, you go right. into amateurs. And, you know, a lot of what I do is just like every other athlete in boxing. I mean, basketball, football, you can see the elite talent that stand out above and beyond the average. And that's who Andre Ward was, you know what I mean? He hadn't, I think Dre had like a hundred and some fights and, 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 and lost probably five or something like that. And uh, he hadn't lost in like 13, 12 years or something. So clearly, you know what I mean? He was an elite talent. So you know, that was unquestionable. And when you see that, when you see the LeBrons, you know, like I knew who LeBron was when he was in high school and out there in Cleveland because the, my street team workers used to have him in a car with them and different things like that. This was when I was just focusing on rap. He was trying to get me in the sports age. Had LeBron. So he was there to be gotten. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just was looking another direction. But that talent stand out. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's what I try to get home is around the world to focus on, you know, all this talent, all this money, you know, with the with the little homies that you may be overlooking, you yeah. know what I mean? All they need is some attention and, and spend some time and some paper with them, and then, bam, they're going to come a day when they're going to go to the NBA, NFL, and do their thing, you know what I mean? And that's supposed to be ours. Right. My thing, I'm going I'm to address the elephant in the room right quick, man. It's boxing. A Mexican sport, and is and another question is: Is it so much of a Mexican sport that Andre Ward said, "Fuck it, I quit. They ain't giving me the fights that I want." No, no, the furthest thing from the truth. Okay, you know what I mean. One, one thing about boxing: everybody with two hands can, you know what I mean, can get out. So right. that sport don't belong to no one race or nothing like that. You know, it's it's multicultural, and you know that 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 ain't the reason why Dre decided he was done. You know, Dre, you know, his initials is SOG, which is Son of God. And and Dre has always been a spiritual dude to the extent where he follow his spirit when it lead him to do different things. You know what I mean? I do that a lot too. I call it my spirit. Some people may call it your intuition. Some people may call it the discernment. But, you know, all it add up to be is that power that's inside of you, you know what I mean? Like, like sometimes we do things and, and, and it may be something on your left shoulder say, man, don't do that. And then on the, on the right shoulder, it'd be like, nigga, go on on and do that. You know what I mean? In other words, we always have that exit on every decision that we make, whether we listen to it or not. So Absolutely. Dre, yeah, Dre Spirit led him, man, to, uh, to, to retire with all of his tools, faculties, and different things, and being a rich, successful man. So that's that's how this story ends. And I, 
I can't knock as bad as I wanted to see him continue to fight. I respect a man, you know what I mean, when he make a decision best on the almighty speaking to him. He basically beat everybody ass. So, I mean, there wasn't nobody left on the list, but the, they kept ducking the, the Triple G, though. Like, they kept hiding Triple G. They kept, I don't give a fuck. They promote Triple G like he was the next nigga. Yeah. Why they wouldn't give him Triple G? Well, Triple G didn't want to give him Triple G. You know what I mean? They, oh, they, they, they understood. Yeah. They understood hey, what they meant. Like, he the next Oscar De La Hoya or something. Yeah, he didn't want to do movies and commercials and shit. They don't want to get their eye knocked out. Triple G ain't there. One fucking commercial, man. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. got other shit going. Some of them motherfuckers get in and get in like, hey, check it out. Give me yeah. all the easy shit. What, in, what other They gave him the easy fights to make them look good. He ain't had no real heavy fights. And Andre Ward wanted that smoke. Yeah. And bruh kept ducking the fucking smoke, man. They were saying, bruh, one of all this wits. But how, how was it <laughs> negotiating with them, Jay? Well, uh, you know, it wasn't really uh, a big nego. not where that fight was concerned. You know what mm. I mean? Where that Triple G thing was concerned, you know, they understood that Dre was about town business. So it wasn't no, you know what I mean? They had a made up mind that we're going to stay away from him because they understood that he was going to spoil their next move. So, right, you know, right. Being, being on the other side, really, in retrospect, they were smart because Dre was going to destroy him. You know what I mean? And they understood that and they <coughs> tried to went on and milk the cow the best way they could, you know? Dead cow, man. Them motherfuckers out of here, man. <laughs> Somebody else spanked them. You know what I mean? So, hey, God don't like ugly. It happened yeah, anyway. Man. So, uh, <laughs> what fighters on your roster right now? Oh, man, I have quite a few fighters, man. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, uh, uh, Jared Anderson, uh, uh, Troy Isley, uh, Floyd Diaz, uh, uh, F.A. Joshua, uh, Tony Yoka. Uh, <laughs> sound like a nice man, the list goes like on and on, man. Got sound like oh, a got rap Tucker. Like <laughs> yeah, Jahar Tucker. Well, I'm trying to remember all of them. And I know I'm forgetting some of them, but I got a hell of a roster sure. right now that uh, we we putting our hand down in a, in a major way. Yo, got Willie D in the gym helping and working <laughs> out with that. <laughs> this nigga's still Willie with the box, right? Willie the Scott, was yeah. name, you, you know we <laughs> got them hands, huh? Yeah, I mean, I say, wasn't he boxing for a minute? Doing nah. that, uh, Willie D got, I ain't going to go there, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to ask for that. I'm not, Jay already told me about this, but, but I was going to put it on your night again. You're like, nah, you don't want them problems. Like, we going to come holler at you, man. I'm like, all right, delete. Delete your footage. So, yeah, Will, yeah, he gets down, though. It wasn't he a golden glove, right? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, Will, you know, Will knocked out, went out there in New York and got with that boy. What's his name? Sticky uh, my- Fingers. Melly Mel? No, Melly Mel. He beat up yeah. Melly Mel. Yeah. Yeah. All them, all them muscles. Yeah. Melly, yeah, Melly Mel had Melly. all them muscles on it. Off Melly Mel, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Beat the brains off that nigga, man. Yeah. All, all them big muscles. <laughs> 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 MTV is oh, something. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah. I got to oh, beat the brakes off the nigga, man. Period. Will is the deal deal, man. Period. Yeah, for sure, guys. What's the name of the boxing company, Jay? Jay Prince Boxing. That's what I thought, man. My yeah, son training yeah. right now, man. And, um, I told him to check you out, man. You know what I mean? He only oh, 14, beautiful. man. Give him some years, man. You know, yeah, but uh, uh, Bill Haney, man. Town yeah. business, man. His son is a fucking animal, bro. Yeah, yeah, Was man. Was his son the nigga that gave Floyd issues on, in the sparring? So they said somebody uh, gave him issues in sparring. I, did, I never witnessed that, but I will say that Devin is the truth, you know what I mean? And and Bill, the homie, has done a spectacular job with, you know what I mean, representing his son. You know what I mean? So I salute yeah, Devin the Haney homie for what he's done. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful job. You know what I mean? You got you got managers that have been in the business for years, you, you know, couldn't have handled them the way Bill came in. And, you know, that's his blood. So, you know, he got out on the management end, on the training, coaching end. He done done it all. And, and they're a success, man. 
Yeah, he's, he be nasty, man. Go ahead, town business, man. Go what ahead. you think about Adrian Broner last fight, and what you think about him and his ups and downs, and why you ain't maybe stepped in and tried Scoop to give him that all big up. brother a big, big, <laughs> you know, why you ain't with yeah. us? Uh, that nigga's a Floyd Mayweather wannabe man. I, I'm just asking you, buddy. Let the niggas give you the buck, my nigga. I know we put Floyd Racy. We all know that he rushed the East. Yeah, Brono. Brono, Brono, little homie. You know what I mean? Brono, uh, Brono, you know, he, he trying to get it together. You know what I mean? He, and, and, I, <laughs> and, I, and I, I believe he'll get it together. I think, I think he needs the most solid foundation, like <laughs> that's what Jay Frank he, he, Alliance. He, you know, yeah, is, is it like football? You kind of don't want to pick up the problems with the player. Need or to Belichick his ass. <laughs> like, it need to be Belichick. <laughs> well, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense with me. But I think right, Roma said it. I think he said it best. You know, when he said he need to stay in the gym and get more fights. You know what I mean? Because he gonna get in trouble if they leave him out of that gym too long. So Don't yeah. tell me you was one of them homies he mentioned in the courtroom. He's like, man, the homies, man, you know, they give me money. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well, why you ain't got the money back? They're paying you. They're paying you. I turned $13. Hey, <laughs> they detained that nigga, man. Like, where the money now? Nigga, I want to know what they <laughs> gave you. Nigga, pay what you <laughs> got to pay. <laughs> <laughs> and that sweater. Oh, my, my, my.